Well, good day, car mechanic simulator. -er 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 <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to the garage. Uh, we're just gonna make a short little video here for you. Uh, we're not gonna do a whole lot of missions, maybe five of them or so. Um, brand new looking car and it needs fixed. That's weird. But anyways, um, it'd be nice if the cars come in there all beat up and you know crappy looking and rusty and garbagey, you know. But these are brand new so but anyways um we're gonna start here um i actually already had filmed uh the car before this which ended up being suspension work you know which we've done lots of suspension work uh found i just thought i'd maybe check and make sure it was recording okay found it wasn't recording okay so i kind of lost one car but it was just uh rear spring shocks that was it pretty uh, pretty simple but uh, anyways we're gonna start this order Find and eliminate the cause. I can't believe how many problems I have with my car. My engine stops suddenly and it isn't reliable. Oh, that's not good. Two thousand bucks. Okay. Engine is not reliable. That's not a good thing. So check here. That's good. The wires off. Oh, wires are ten percent. You can see in the bottom right there. Um, you don't know what these are until you take them off. Ignition module zero percent. Well, that's not good. Um, to be perfectly honest, I've already sort of started this mission. I restarted it again, so I pretty much already know what's wrong with this one. Uh, those wires are junk. That ignition coil is fine, I do believe. And I did check all the spark plugs. Yeah, that was nice. I did check all the spark plugs before, and uh, they were all good too. So, save us a minute or two here. So, we need to go buy some parts. A couple of ignition wires. Ignition wires. And I did a couple learning books here too. This will save me a bit of money on some parts. Click one of them and that one. Okay, yeah, I better not spend any more than that. Uh, okay, car parts. We need some ignition wires and a module. Oh, no, not that one. I need the front V6, rear V6. Okay. Yeah, I was just going to keep the videos a bit shorter. Uh, maybe do like five missions. Okay, we need to... Nope, I already was in assembly mode. Ignition module. That is odd though, because I did, like I say, play this car once. Uh, almost had it finished, and then I found out it wasn't recording, right? <gasps> Um, and that ignition module was 12%, but that time it was 0%, so that's interesting. Ignition wires. Okay. Now, I'm not too sure if that is it. That's about as far as I got. Okay, so let's see. Did we fix? We fixed. Repaired. Made pretty good money on that one. Okay, so just before we start the next one here, I'm just going to pause for one second and I'm going to go out and make sure that that recorded okay. Hopefully it does because once you uh, push repaired, you can't go back to that car. <laughs> so that's what I mean why I, I, I lost one there. So give me one sec, we'll, a second, we'll try her out here. Okay, I think everything's good. Okay, so this is uh, make. Car drivable, test cars on the diagnostic path. I bought this car cheaply, but but with an incomplete engine. Great. Can you mount the missing parts and check on the diagnostic check it on the diagnostic path? Five grand. Whew. So technically now we shouldn't be able to test it. It'll probably say car is incomplete. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Wow, we were missing like a lot of stuff here. Three spark plugs missing. <laughs> oh. Batteries missing. What else is missing here? 
Oh, why can't I zoom out? Doesn't look like there's too much oh, alternators missing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, that's good, anyways. That's good. See, a, sh a mission like this, alternators you can fix. That would have been handy to have an alternator. I don't know if I've got one here or not. Okay, let's get rid of parts that we can't fix. Oh, crap. Hang on a sec here. Uh, actually, first of all, let's go to the, the bench. So we can fix our suspension arms. Airflow meter, we can fix that. Okay, that's good to know. But unfortunately, we don't have an alternator. So that we can't fix. That we can't fix. That we can't fix. That we can't fix. These parts are just junk. Ah, cap. Yeah, we'll scrap that. Bought that new spring glass game there by mistake. It's junk. Those are junk. Module junk. 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 Okay. Now, there is a thing we can go in here and see if we can get a used part and maybe fix it cheaper than the new part is, uh, depending. Let's see here. What's the new alternator worth to begin with? Alternator is $500, used car parts. Trouble is they don't tell you how much it's going to be to fix it. And sometimes they don't have one. Doesn't look like they have one here. So, we're going to need... An alternator. Uh, we need a belt for that. I think we do too. That's a. Uh, I can't remember now what the name of that one was. We need some spark plugs. Probably have to put four in it. See, uh, saving a bit of money there, right? I didn't see if it had a starter in that thing, but, um, timing belt, I guess we don't need a timing belt. Ah, uh, that thing was going to need an ignition wire or something, too. I never checked if it had a module on it or not. Get a set of wires. Okay, let's run back with what we got so far. Pop this module off here and see how it's looking. Module 95, so that's good. Oops. And no doubt the oil will need changed. Oh, come on, really? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to. Plug was good. Okay, so we got one extra plug. I think I'm gonna have to uh, replace my mouse here soon. It's kind of acting mousy. Good. Wires. Good. Alternator. Oh, we need a battery too, didn't we? Right. Ah, <gasps> we need a belt. Uh, okay. We need a belt and a battery. We'll see if there's a used battery. Sometimes you can fix batteries. Oh, you can fix batteries. Um, we need that timing belt. This one here, serpentine belt. And let's see the used parts here. If they got a battery, probably not. Okay. So, B for battery. 
there. $50 for a battery. Holy. Okay, so we'll go back to these parts now. Oh, we need that air tube as well. Man. Air tube or something that's called. Belt. Okay, back to the computer. Um, V6 air tube, that's the one there. Normally 100, so I get it for 92, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Even better once you get your skills up and stuff. Air tube. Okay. Let's check his oil. It's probably needing changed. Come on, click. Yeah, my mouse is having trouble clicking and stuff. Oh, that was not too bad, actually. We will just check his filter here. Filter is 95%. Surprising. Okay, that might be fixed. Now, he wanted us to take it on the diagnostic path, too. So let's just check our order here. Probably need some suspension work. Make car drivable. Okay, so let's see if it's drivable yet. Car is incomplete. Cannot perform this action. Okay. Is there no air filter in there? I think everything else is complete. Well, let's pull all the air box apart now. in there. Filter is good. Um, okay, well. Uh, fuel filter and... We'll check that after maybe the fuel filter and fuel pump. Okay, um, just going to examine some conditions here. That's good. Okay, let's just put her up on the stand. And we shall check under here. Maybe it's all right. Usually if they're not in good shape, they're all scrimy, looking rusty and crappy. That one's good. This one, unfortunately, you can't examine it until you take it out, but I think it's okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay, put it back in. Okay, so if every fuel pump was that easy to get out. <sighs> okay, um... Car is incomplete. Okay, I'm missing something. What are we missing? Let's look in the engine here again. Starter, I bet. I bet you it's a starter. Or the starter's junk. And doesn't even have a starter. <laughs> nope. Okay, back to the computer we go. Come on, turn, baby. Um, okay, starter. Let's see. What is a new starter worth? Oh, PQR. A starter is $200. You know what? That's not really too bad. 
be just as much as that for me to buy a used and rebuild one, probably, so. Okay, well, let's install the starter, and then I think that's got to be it. And then we have to take it on the diagnostic path. Okay, let's try that. Are we good now? Yes. We are good. Okay, test brakes and suspension. Those brakes are awesome. Good. Rears are really good too. Suspension, I bet you there's something wrong with the suspension. But we never know. Well, fronts are good. And rears are hmm, good. Okay. It's a lot of money for this, so it's got to be something else. Did we fix it, or did we not fix it? Oh, we fixed it. Okay. Next. Alright, order number 43. 43. Check the brakes. The brakes on this car have completely failed. <laughs> Perform a general inspection of the brakes, please. $2,800. Okay, well, let's take it for a diagnostic test. Probably brake pads. Fronts are junk. Rears are junk. <laughs> Suspension test. Let's see what the suspenders say. Yeah, passable, I would say. And Passable. Okay, so brake work, front and rear brakes. I love doing brakes, they're awesome. I don't know why that little pause there when it's loading. Okay, brakes, 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 brakes. Hello. Hello, game. Thank you. <laughs> don't crash. Okay. Ooh. Look at wheels on these things. Brakes, brakes, br oh, 13%. 74%, at least they're decent enough. Probably the pads are junk. Pads and rotors, probably. Yep, junk. And yep, junk. Junk. Okay, we'll do the fronts and then we'll do the rears. Sucking the bolts a little bit faster when you get the more uh, experiencey stuff, eh? Learning. Oh, that pad's good. I'm gonna put all the pads on. Oh, those front pads are good. Gave us quite a bit of money, so we'll put pads on for him. You can't just put one side on. That's what I was always taught, anyways. Okay, break disc. Break. I've already passed them. Break disc. One. Two. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Okay, that should be good. We'll probably need discs too for the back, but let's throw this back together here now. Nice pressure brake disc. Nice fresh pad. Pad. Nice fresh pad. Calipers are decent still. That tire is good. That side's good. Nice fresh break break disc. Oh come on, really? Break pad. Brick pad. Caliper. And a wheel. Ooh, wheelie. Okay, rears. What kind of mess yeah, we're gonna need discs. Oh, and calibers too. Rear calibers. Oh no, it's a complete job back here. Those well, pads are decent though. That's kind of weird. It's okay, I bought new pads. Well, I could probably put those back on. Seems odd that they'd be fine and the caliper is junk and the disc is junk. This caliper's okay. Just need one caliper then. These pads are junk. Those pads are junk. That guy's junk. Okay, to that computer. We got enough pads. We need two more brake discs. And a caliper. Pad. Brake pad. We put the nice caliper over here. My bad. Okay, that side's complete. Nice new disc. Nice fresh pad. Nice fresh pad. And that should. To do it. Oh, check the brakes. What did we miss? What did we miss? Did we miss something? We miss something. Suspension come out okay, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's interesting. Think everything was fine. Wonder if he's Okay, let's just have a look here again. We missed something. Everything was good there. Ooh. What a 
the order say? Brakes in the car have completely failed. Perform a general inspection of the brakes, please. Okay. We replaced all the parts. Maybe... Maybe you want... Oh, was there a caliper? Maybe that was no good. Another one? Jeez, I thought they were decent. Usually if they're, like, you know, yellow... They're not too bad. Well, that one's 60. Maybe we'll try replacing just this caliper. Maybe that's what the issue is. 60's not great, but it's not horrendously bad. We'll see if this was repaired it. No, not quite. Okay, so is this one having issues? I thought we were okay here. Seventy-four. That should be fine. Let's put it up. See if there's anything else we can see that might need something. Strange. Everything's looking fine. Something somewhere though. Okay, well the only thing I can think is just a brake job. The only thing I can think is that he wants all new calipers and everything. Everything else is new. We put a couple of the older calipers on, which was I think I think this side. So we'll have to remove the wheel again, unfortunately. Yeah, I think this guy's the culprit, maybe. Okay, we'll grab another caliber. percent one will be scratch my head. What is going on here? Okay, did that do it? Yay! That's all it was. Crazy. Okay, so number 44. What's the next one? What's the next one? What's the next one? Oh, are we in a different garage? Perform chip tuning. Minimum five. Perform chip tuning. Minimum five percent. My car needs more power when it's loaded. The problem goes up hills. We're in a different garage. Sweet. Okay, so chip tuning. How the heck do we do that now? It's over here, I think. Path test check car. There's my computer. Oh, there's a dy diamondometer in there. Roller dyno. Proceed to the roller dyno tune. Oh, 
Okay, so this is going to be kind of new to me here. Now, I think I've done a little bit of this, but you gotta mess with these things until you get them all the same. Kind of like right there, it says proper ratio. You gotta write that to the computer. Stock maximum power was 75. After our two, five percent, I think. Is we got ten percent. Nice. So much if we get paid for that? I'm gonna have to go in the lock. I can't remember now. Um, okay, so we got 10% and he won a minimum of 5%. 1000 bucks for that. Nice. So hopefully this doesn't turn into like just all of a sudden just tuning stuff because, you know, I kind of more like the mechanic-y part of it rather than just to put this part on to, you know, see if it makes it go faster. So we'll see what comes in our new garage here. Find and eliminate the cause. My tires are wearing out unevenly. I have no idea why. Find the cause, please. Okay. Let's take him. I think it's this one. Yes. <clears throat> That'll tell us if uh, something's wore out, probably suspension wise. Garage, this one. Front brakes are good. Rear brakes are good. Suspender test. Not too, too bad. Rears. Something going on on the left side here, I think. Probably rubber bushing or tie rod end stuff, I bet. These tires are probably junk too on the one side that needs repaired. Let's see here. Hmm, <clears throat> we will do some observing. See what it looks like here. If it ever loads up. Okay. Tire, you don't know. Oh. Red parts are bad. Looks like bushings in there too. Okay, well. Let's pull this nice shiny brand new looking tire off. Let's see what shape it's in. Maybe one that's good. This guy off here too. That one's 95. That's good. Okay. Let's wait a minute. There. Put that feller up. Not this brand new looking car. Okay. We got some problems here. That bushing's junk. Front A arm is junk. And that bushing is zero. <laughs> that one's twenty five percent. These I think I can fix these though, which is kinda strange. Now yeah, where's my tool bench? That vice is, it's over here probably still. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, yes, I can. Urgh. Ooh, I can fix the brake calibers too, that's good to know. Okay, so those... what did I just fix there? Oh, I guess they're back in my inventory now, that makes sense. Okay, and we need to buy a couple of rubber bushings. Computer's way up here now. How much money? We got 15,000, we're gonna see if we can save a bit more money. Spend money to save money, but that's how she works. Put these guys to level four, and that should be good. Okay, we need a couple of rubber bushings. Should be down here. Ooh, so they're normally 110. I'm getting for 96 dollars now. Nice. Now we're probably gonna need stuff for the rear too, but we'll put this front back together here first. rubber bushing. Oh, I didn't fix the wrong... Oh, okay, I, got, I gotta go fix another one. Hang on a sec, I must have fixed two lefts. My bad, again. And even repaint it. Rubber bushing. Okay, that should be done. Now let's just check. Oh, we got a bad one back here. that mount right here. Dual exhaust even. That's good. Now there is rubber bushings. Oh, if I can get her positioned right here. That one's good. This one's good. Everything else looks good. So we just need to fix this arm. Okay. Did we fix? Did we fix? Yes, we did. All right, we're gonna do one more for to. Oh, cars and okay. okay, why is it incomplete? What did? Oh, tires. Duh. My bad. Can't send them out like that. Russia myself. Russia myself. Sorry, buddy. Let me put your brand new tire on the front here. Okay, now we should be good. 
Okay, yes, we're going to do one more order, and then that will be all for today. That was actually our fifth there. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, we'll do one more. Okay, here we go. Last of today. What do we got to do? Find the solution. My fuel costs have been rising for months. I don't like it because rising gas prices are clearly not... Uh, the only reason for it. Okay, so. Talking fuel. Let's just crank him up here. Check his fuel pump and stuff. Fuel pump looks pretty bad. Fuel pump is 21%. Oh, crap. I should check this. Filter here too. Filter's 95. Okay, so so far fuel pump oh, went the wrong way. It's a pretty nice looking garage here. Fuel pump. Fuel pump I can't fix, I don't believe, so we'll just go buy a new one. B C D E Fuel Pump. Regularly $320, I get it for $281.60. Not too bad. Reassembly mode. Fuel pump. Okay, well, how much money did we get for this one? $1,200. Of course, didn't fix it. There's probably other things here too. Okay, so let's put them down. Check some spark plugs, maybe here. I'm gonna take this cover off first, so you can get the spark plug work. Spark plug wires are 89%. It's not super too bad. We'll magically examine some spark plugs without taking them out. 95. 95. 93. 90. Okay. Why doesn't he have an ignition? Mo oh, that is there. Sorry. It was buried. Doesn't look too bad, though. I think it's probably fine. 90%. Okay, so what else we got going on here? Maybe this guy. Oh, come on, really? This guy off. Oh, what on earth is going on here? Flow meters junk. That'll be making you use more gas. Check the filter all the way this far off of here. Filters junk too. Scrap that out of the battery. Battery's good. Okay, so we need airflow meter. I don't think I can fix an airflow meter, so we'll just double check that here. Oh, we can too. Yes, we'll fix that. <clears throat> then we need a filter, air filter. Oh, yes, of course, that's way up here. Uh, oh, crap, not that one. You have to get rid of some of the parts again. 
The ignition wires are fine. Yeah, we just need a pumps junk. Air filter. Air filter won't make you use very less less gas either, that's for sure. Make you use more gas. Okay, we should be good to reassemble. A nice repaired airflow meter. Okay. Airflow tube, ignition wires, it's funny they didn't have a bad spark plug there. This engine cover will just check his oil. E. Not tremendous, but did we fix? We have fixed. Alright, well that's it for today. Uh, we'll just give you a sneak peek at the next order. Next order, next order, next order, next order. And uh, that's where we'll start next week. Whenever it loads up. <clears throat> okay, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Oh, red car. Find and remove the cause of whining. Mm. Replace all filters, change oil. I started to hear a whining noise from the back of my car. Interesting. Could you check it and then replace the filters, fil my filters and oil? 3000 bucks. Yes, we will next week. But anyways, thanks for watching this week. Uh, tune in next week. We'll um, do some more repairs. We'll start with this guy. Anyways, have a good week. Thanks for watching.